Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Robeson and here you are again at another episode of the top 10 most common design mistakes I see people making in their homes and you might be making them as well. Today we are going to tackle the subject of mistakes related to Christmas decorating. <laughs> Move things out make room for your Christmas decorations. Take your ornaments, your balls, your spinners, whatever you're using into the tree. Take those balls deep into the tree. When I bought this house in Tulsa, I knew it had a basement, but at the time I didn't really know how valuable that basement was going to be for me and all the things that I own, including all of my Christmas decorations. I have to say 15 years of Christmas decorating videos on YouTube has made me quite the collector, wouldn't you say? In fact, I have over a hundred free videos that you guys can watch anytime on every subject about Christmas decorating. But just as I know a lot about how to decorate, I also know a thing or two about what not to do. I have it narrowed down to just seven things. It's going to be very simple, but here's the deal. Uh, some of you are, uh, you just, you love Christmas, but you just want to throw it up, right? And if that's you, that's fine. That's great. But at the same time, wouldn't you be interested in knowing, even if you only put three hours or one day into your Christmas decorating, that you might be making some very common mistakes that are so simple and so easy and just fixing those mistakes alone not even you know stepping up with your decorating but fixing some of those mistakes could elevate your christmas decorating to the next level so i've got a list of seven things i want to run by you these are things that i see as mistakes let me tell you these are simple things to fix it costs you nothing in most cases but just knowing some of these little details can elevate your Christmas decorating so much more this year. Even if you're a three hour decorator, you do it on the weekend after Thanksgiving and you're just trying to get it up and then you really want to get it down right afterwards. Just implement these ideas, these seven things, and I promise you, your Christmas decorating will look so much better. Mistake number one. You are not addressing your current decorations, furniture, or anything like that. You're just bringing all of your Christmas decorations in and adding it to what you already have. Do you know what that creates? A very busy, exhausting look when you look around. You may have a beautiful artificial tree over here that goes into the you know, Christmas tree shape, and then right next to it is a fiddle fig leaf tree. Whether it's silk or plastic or real, it's too much. It takes away. I have seen so many photos that have been submitted to me through YouTube, through emails, through the design sessions, and even a lot on Instagram, especially last year. So many people had all these decorations out, but it was just lost in a sea of all the other things that they had. A really important thing to do when you're doing your Christmas decorating is to move things out make room for your Christmas decorations and then they will be the star and they will look so much better in your home. Mistake number two, and this is a big one, tags. Guys, cut the tags off of your trees. You know you get a tree and it has maybe four different pieces to build that thing, right? Each one of those has tags all on the inside attached I cannot tell you how many times I have seen people's trees and you look in and you can see the tags on the trees or on your extension cords, on even on your, your bulbs and your, you know, your ornaments. Take the tags off. It makes such a quality difference. Mistake number three. You go to Costco, you buy yourself a wreath or you buy yourself a garland, put down the center of your table, you take it out of the box, you sit it right down. You know what you didn't do? You didn't fluff it. You go out, you get yourself a tree, you pull it out of the box and the bags and you put in number four, three, two, one, and let the things come down and that's it. That's a huge mistake. Do you know that every single branch on your tree should be pulled out and adjusted so that it has a more fluffy and actually more natural look? 
I have had so many people tell me over the years, thank you so much, I never knew to fluff my greenery or my tree. And all I wanna say is, oh my gosh, the difference, okay, I think we have footage of me doing the uh, Cinderella tree last year. Half of it is fluffed, the other half isn't. Do you see the difference? That alone can elevate your Christmas decorations. So the bottom line is this, become an expert fluffer. Mistake number four, and I think uh, with the 15 years I've been on YouTube, people are getting this a little bit more than they used to, but back in the day I used to see this all the time, and that is people putting their ornaments and their things just on the outside of the tree. Do you realize that as the tree goes down, it gets deeper and thicker and thicker? If you take your ornaments, your balls, your spinners, whatever you're using into the tree, take those balls deep into the tree, I'm telling you, it's, it's just, all of a sudden there's magic to your tree because your eye doesn't just skim the outside like a cone, it actually travels in deep through the branches and you can see the reflection, the iridescence, the glitter, the color deep on into the tree. Mistake number five, um, some people like it this way, I personally don't. I think it makes such a difference when you use only one type of greenery. Do you know what I mean? Let's say you're gonna have a green tree, in other words, whether it's real or artificial, then using fresh green boughs if your tree is real, or even artificial green boughs looks great. Your, your staircase or your fireplace mantle or your centerpiece, your wreath, Use green if your tree is green. If your tree is flocked, then of course it's an artificial tree, but then use all the other garlands, the wreaths, the, the banisters, everything that you're doing, your centerpieces, use flocked for that as well. Or one of my favorites, you start with a green base and you add picks of ice and snow in it and then you get kind of a two-tone that's okay to do but then follow that idea through to your garlands your wreaths and all the other Christmas decorations that you have in your home mistake number six is likely to be something that you are guilty of if i should put it that way i guess that sounds a little harsh but you probably are a lot of people buy pre-lit decorations i do as well i always buy pre-lit trees for sure but if your if your decorations are pre-lit most of the time you think that's all it needs do you know that every single year i add at least a minimum of one strand of lights down the center of my tree to illuminate it from the inside to get that magical feeling. So I believe it's a mistake to just turn your lights on with the lights that come with your decorations. That's a mistake, add a string of lights to it. Honestly, uh, I think it was last year, I did my fireplace garland and it was all pre-lit and everything. And we stood back and we looked at it and I was just like, gosh, I just thought it was gonna be way more beautiful than that. And of course, once I added an extra string of lights, da, it became the beautiful decoration that I intended it to be when I decorated it in the first place. So get yourself some extra lights and use them. All right, for my most controversial of all the mistakes, I would say this, and I actually feel stronger about it now than when I first started making YouTube videos. I used to get so much heck for decorating my home and placing these videos up in the month of November. Here's the deal. Christmas, ugh, the best time of the year, right? It's just wonderful. There's gifts, there's delicious baking and, and homemade dinners. Christmas is amazing for everyone but mom. Especially if you start after Thanksgiving. You've got Christmas cards to do, you've got the Christmas plays, you've got to go to your husband's Christmas party or dinner, or you have a work party or dinner for Christmas. There's so much going on. So if you're waiting until after Thanksgiving to start your Christmas decorating, you're gonna wanna throw it all up in one day. And you know what? Maybe it's fine. Maybe that's good enough. Just take your tags off, okay? And put the balls deeper into the tree. It won't take much time, I promise. But what happens is you are so burning the candles at both ends that you're creating this incredible, extraordinary experience for your family. 
and you're the one who is losing out on any of the joy of it because you are exhausted. That's what I'm recommending you do. Don't, don't decorate in September. That's just crazy talk. But if you could start in November, get your home, when I say out of the way, I don't mean out of the way, but get your home taken care of. Then you have time for Christmas shopping and going to the ballet and having a new dress for Christmas and planning your perfect Christmas meal and setting your table. You have time to do all those things and then you can actually enjoy it. So that is my final tip, number seven. I think it is a mistake to wait too long. And in my opinion, too long is to wait till after Thanksgiving. You know, I shot that video so fast, so I thought I'd throw in a little bonus for you. How would you like to tour the rest of my Christmas decorations storage area? These are green garlands that I use on my staircase when I use green trees, but there's more. You wanna go around? Follow me. Making every inch count. This is my lighting section. What kind of lights do I have? Well, I have mini lights, spinners, fairy, wedding lights, specialty lights, and candle lights. And each one of these, I painstakingly take the time to coil them up at the end of the year because if you take good care of your stuff, you can use it from year to year to year. Adjacent from the lighting department is the home uh, entertainment area. This is where I keep all of my Christmas dishes. I have dishes that I only use at Christmas time and I have too many to keep in my kitchen or in my dining room. So they have a nice little home down here, including the cutlery, the gold cutlery that I use just at Christmas time. Hello, Mary. Joseph, dude, it's been a while. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Obviously, using your space efficiently is a high priority to me. So I have these great desks. These are left over from my design offices and I had them made with a shelf underneath. So I've used the top shelf for nothing but ribbons. And these are all of my whites. I have a lot of white. There's even birch in there and velvet. And I mean, come on, who doesn't love a lot of Christmas ribbon? And I know exactly where all of it is and it's stored by color. And then here in the center is where I keep all of my Christmas wrap. And it's easy just to pull it out, lay it on the table. It's the perfect surface for wrapping gifts. And it just so happens to be right next to the ribbon. <gasps> who thought of that? These tubs are filled with nothing but garland. I know, I might have a little bit of a garland issue. Mostly the flocked ones here and then the green ones over there, I try to keep them separate, but I just have a lot of garland. And you know why? Because garland is such a fabulous decorating tool to use at Christmas time. So what do you think of my basement? I mean, it's kind of like crazy, right? Oh wait, there's more. Actually, maybe it's not a garland department issue. It's a wreath department issue. Uh, this is brown velvet and those are all my musical instruments. Wasn't that a gorgeous tree that year? I know, I loved it so much. There's a violin in there. How nice is it to have one area where I can keep all my candles. We've got everything from battery operated to actual candles, to votives, to big like three wick candles, and all the way down to even like the little tiny candles that you use. You know, do any of you have, oh, leave me a comment below. Do any of you have that old fashioned, uh, it's like the angels and they have their trumpets and their brass, and then there's like a fan on top and the candles heat it up and it goes, ding, 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 ding. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen one of those in years. I should get on Google and see if I can find one. All right, what is behind me? Oh, I have to get through this like maze to get into this section, but this is my Christmas tree department and it goes way back in there. Uh, I'll show you. This is a cheapo plastic bag because it's all I had. It's what one of my uh, Balsam Hill things came in. But look, I actually take photographs 
and I put them on the front of each bag so I know if I'm looking for my Cinderella tree, I can look through and without opening each bag and I can see where it is. Not only are we being careful with our planning this way, we have to think about this and this and all these weird things. Not to mention over here, I have to think about getting through this guy who is just super awkward. Hey guys, welcome to the reindeer department. Yes, I have a special area back here where I keep my reindeer. You guys have seen these. Look at, there's the brass one. His antennas are down here. Are they antennas? No, his ears are down there. And look, there's even one in the corner peeking out. So these guys live here because they needed open space because I don't want to put them in a box. That would just be cruel. Then our last department here, good Lord, Christmas pillows. Gotta have a place to store all the Christmas pillows. And I'm getting new ones this year too, so I'm super excited about that. And you're probably wondering, okay, Rebecca, you have got so much stuff. Are you really getting more stuff this year? <laughs> yes, I am. And guess what? Look, we've already made room. <laughs> Hello. I have room left, so yes, definitely getting new stuff this year. Why? Well, because I love Christmas and I love decorating and I love sharing it with you. So yes, this video today was about mistakes that you're making, but also to kind of get your appetite wet because guess what? From this video on, we are rolling out Christmas, which I'm so excited about. Starting the first week in November, every weekday, I will be posting a brand new video leading up to the awesome reveal of my home. I have some kind of fun, uh, unexpected, exciting things I'm gonna be adding this year. The most exciting thing is I'm partnering with Amber Marie this year and all the things that you see me use this year, you are gonna be able to purchase if you want to. They will have a website that has a Rebecca Robeson page. You just go there and you can shop all the things that I, I did and am doing. And let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Oh. Uh, if you're available and you live anywhere near Tulsa on uh, November 9th, I think it's November 9th, we'll check. If it's not, check whatever the box says below me in the type. Uh, there's going to be an open house at the Amber Marie store in Utica Square where you can come and we can meet each other, have a meet and greet, and you can shop your heart's content for Christmas stuff. All right, you guys, that pretty much wraps it up, not only for this video, but this entire series on top 10 design mistakes that I see people often do in their homes. I hope you have learned a lot. And I really, really wanna challenge you again. Do those seven things. Check those seven things in your decorating, whether you decorate big or you decorate small. You can make those simple changes. And then leave me a comment, come back, leave me a comment on this video or any of my Christmas videos and let me know. Did it make a difference? I'd love to see pictures, photos of your Christmas tree, maybe how it looked last year before you took care of the mistakes and what it looks like this year as a result of the things that you're learning from my videos. Okay, I love you. I will see you guys next time. I'm not sure. I think it'll be Thursday at two o'clock central, but all during this season in November, we will be uploading at two o'clock central every day. All right, super excited. Christmas is here. All right, love you.